And welcome back, everyone. Um, it's been a day since I played last. And I feel way better today. Hopefully, I won't be coughing that much. You may not have even noticed that I've been coughing the last two episodes. Because I've been painstakingly going through the episode and editing out all the coughs. So that you won't have to listen to it. But hopefully today, I haven't been coughing very much. It's gonna be way smoother. And I, there won't be too much work for me afterwards in post. Uh... So that's my hope. Oh, I'm just glad to be back in the game. Okay, last time my goal was to craft a prawn suit. And it's still the same goal. I'm gonna craft a prawn suit. That's the one thing. The other thing is I've gotten a bunch of radio messages um, from some life pods that I have discovered before I got the message. But also life pods that I have not discovered yet, I believe. So I will do that and the prawn suit in this episode, I believe. The staging outpost is looking really nice so far. Um, the goddamn legs not rendering until you're within like a centimeter is annoying me a little bit. Because they're so beautiful. I just want them to be there all the time. Simplicity at its finest, huh? I love it. Okay, prawn suit time. What do I need? Also, I have my inventory full of bullshit. Maybe I should just start by... Emptying that and putting them into the lockers. I just came back from a crazy expedition on an island where I discovered an alien gun. Hold on. Yeah, I need power. I get that. Let me just fill up my lockers here. Titanium. I must have some. I have one. Oh, that's more titanium. Copper. Do I have any? No. Metals. Gold. Uh, no lead. Quartz. Uh, like that. Salt. No. Advanced. This is where I put my diamonds and lithiums. Maybe also ion cubes? Hmm. I don't know where to put my ion cubes. Maybe an advanced. For sure. But I have so much in here already. Actually, plastic ingot is, is crafted. So I'm gonna put them inside of here. Plasteel ingot. We have salt. That's in my... Where did I put my salt? Actually, I'm gonna use the salt to... Uh... Oh, I can't use it right now. Hold on. I need to find some power. And when I say power, I mean biomass. Come here. Come here, you bastard. Yeah. Can I grab these? These have lots of power in them. Yes. Spade fish. Spades of power. Good old hoop fish. Let me take the ruby. Okay. Dude, the feeling of going back to base with supplies is immense. Offline. I love it. Power it up, baby! Power restored. Yeah. Primary systems online. What's what's taking so much power right now? Why is it going zero one zero one zero one? What is consuming power? Is it the moon pool? Is it the lights? Fluid intake. Uh It's not enough power. Let me think. It's gotta be the moon pool. Maybe it's the moon pool repairing my... That's what it is. It's charging my Seamoth. Um, okay, that's fair, I guess. I'll let it do its thing. In the meantime... Ruby goes in here. that and I also have a purple tablet and I forgot where I put that in tools right creature egg hmm the eggs I wonder what I can do with those maybe I can hatch something because I do have I believe let me see if I can find it here 
Uh, where's my there? If I do remember correctly. I can grow plants, yes. But yes, this one. I have an alien containment. Provides optimal conditions for flora and fauna. Add a hatch to enter. Hmm. That is interesting, isn't it? Vehicle upgrade console. Yeah. Um... So I think my thing is charged now, and that's why I have 17 power. So now I can actually use this. What did I need? Bleach. Right. Making some water. Good first step here. Nice. And then I want to mark, or pin, I should say. Reactor rod? Ah, okay, okay, okay. So it does use fuel. Got it. And it uses uraninite crystals, which makes sense. It's not quite uranium, it's like a made-up version of uranium, it seems. Got it. Uh, okay. What was I doing? Synthetic fibers. Blood oil. Deep shroom. Oh my goodness. My good. I can even craft these. That's so interesting. I should also make the synthetic fiber suit at some point. So, where is the prawn? There it is. Plasti lingots I have, aerogel I have, enamel glass I have. I have it all. Easy. Hello? Uh, that is just easy. Advanced. One, two, three, four, right? No, only two of them. Okay. Right, I need to take in some... Yes, 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 yes. I will, I will, I will. Don't worry, PDA. I'm on it! Man, what would I do without my PDA telling me that I needed drinks, you know? I guess I'd die. Also, how's Matthews doing? He's doing great. Fantastic. Now I need lead. Pop up. And enameled glass. I have it there. And plasti lingots. That is in the crafted. God, the organization is making me happy. An aerogel. Man, I had everything for the suit. How insane is that? And to craft it, I actually need to make the mobile vehicle bay. The one I have in my inventory. So let me equip that. Question. Can I put it in here? Probably a bad idea, huh? I think I need to go to the surface with this. So let me equip that. Man, such a deep base I have. I love it. Also, I gotta craft a bunch of beacons. You know, here's what I'm gonna do. My sea moth. Uh, it's storage locker. I'm gonna fill it with utilities. You know? Flares? Beacons? Uh, one of those things that distract, um, monsters when I throw them. You know, uh, whatever they're called. Uh, just a bunch of s utilities that I can grab whenever I need it for situational... What's that sound? You hear it? What was that sound? That was so weird. Okay. Whatever. Climb up here, buddy. The prawn suit. Epic mech suit. Designed for navigating challenging environments on foot. Fuck yeah! It is normal when first piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Oh yeah? Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. <laughs> you will have to make do with self-discipline. Um, oh. Oh! No, 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 no! Hold on, it's falling. Uh... I guess I'll leave it here. Uh, where's it going? Oh man, it is falling down. Come here! And funnily enough, it seems like it falls and then stops and then falls. Almost as if uh, the the calculation of it falling down with G 
is, uh, is not being calculated when I'm not close to it. I feel like this game is, I mean, despite its age, it, bam. Despite its age, it's kind of buggy in general. There are so many bugs in this Welcome game. The board, Captain. Oh! Ah! Oh! Yo, I can float! Oh, I have like a, a meter in the bottom right. What is this in the bottom? I have like two thingies. Oh! Oh my god, this is so cool! Fuck you, main brain tree! Yeah. Okay, you are very, very resistant, it seems. Great evolution there. Oh. Dude, this is so cool! What is the point of it, though? Hold on. Uh, no more batteries? Shit. But I do have a light on this. Uh, access upgrades. Oh my god, I have to equip this with all kinds of shit. Uh, what's the other side? Storage? Oh my god, it has a storage already! What else does it have? Wait, is, is that the same storage I just opened? Yeah, I think it is. Dude, this is amazing. Again, there's like this little... ...thingy on top, just like on the Seamoth, that I don't quite understand. Question. I can probably... ...dock this with the, uh... ...that one. Oh. It feels great when you land and it goes poof. Go, 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 go. Get down there. I should probably take out my Seamoth. Hold on. It's kind of slow though? No? Like, uh, where exactly is that useful? Also, I wonder how deep I can go with it. That's another thing. Uh, yeah. Get in. Awesome. Guess I'll park it there. Prawn. Assemble. Move in here. Oh, here we go. Hell yeah, boy! Cool. Power cell. It has two power cells, it seems. Okay. Prawn suit docked. Okay, 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 okay. Prawn suit modules. Depth module. Thermal reactor. Cool. Torpedo arm. Jet upgrade? I don't know where to get either nickel or crystalline sulfur. Like, where do I get that? Torpedo arm. Hmm. What's all this? Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll craft some of that? Did I have a, uh... Where's my... Modification station? I guess I disassembled it, didn't I? Modification station, where you be? Computer chip, titanium, diamond, and lead. Uh... Can I pin it? No? Okay. Let me unpin this. And see again. Nope. Computer chip, titanium, lead, crafted should be here, right? Computer chip, and diamond. That is advanced. Man, I love it. Let me put it somewhere. So I'll put it here. That is a nice spot. Yeah! This base is starting to look like something, isn't it? Very utilitarian. I just want to see. 
I can make a Mark II of the Prawn Suit Depth Module, also. Um, but what I want to do is, first of all, I feel like I should max out my Seamoth first, before I start messing with the Cyclops, or not the Cyclops, the, um, the Prawn Suit, too much. You know, because I don't even have a lot of the raw materials that is needed to upgrade the Prawn Suit. It seems like I need uh, all kinds of raw materials that I'm guessing I can only get what I get way further down. So maybe I'll start with creating a Mark III or Mark II depth module for my Seamoth. I don't remember which one I have right now. I think I only have a Mark I. Plasteel ingot. How did I make that again? Remind me game. Advanced materials. Oh, right. Okay, sure. Reactor rod? Yeah. Plasteel ingot. Titanium ingot and lithium. I can make that. I need 10 titanium. Like that. And I need a 2 lithium. So that is advanced. I'm glad I picked up all this lithium now. Titanium ingot. Hell yeah. Like that. What else did I need? Magnetite, enameled glass, and the first one I have. Oh yeah, I can just mark it. Magnetite, I have two of. Perfect. Enameled glass, I got it. And this depth module is on my Seamoth right now. Huh! Uh, no, that's the storage. Where's my upgrades? Here, right? There we go. Oh, oh! Shit! Woo! Sorry about that, Seamoth. That did not occur to me at all that that would happen. <laughs> Amazing. You may recommend this, and I may follow your recommendation, because I do care about my body and my... Wait, hold on. I have a food locker? But this is my fauna... Hold on. What was I thinking? What is wrong with me? Let me cook some food. Let's just top that up, huh? Boomerangs. Consume it all. Hmm. Eat, eat, eat. Vital signs stabilizing. So much stabilizing. Let, let's just click on this. This is life pod seven. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. That's Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. To date to bank. Dude, the voice actor of this guy sounds exactly like Paul Torgal. It may be the same voice actor. A distress signal has been received from LifePod 7, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Oh, cool! Crew reported problems with their onboard fabricator, sunk to 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity. Transmission origin approximately... One kilometer southwest of the Aurora Stern section. Hold on, have I found this before? At some point I have to really systematically go through and make sure that I have actually checked all of these life pods. Because at this point, I don't remember the numbers that I've visited and the numbers that I haven't. Um, let me note that down. Check all Life pods. I mean, except the ones that I'm pretty sure of, such as 17, you know? Okay. Some of them I found by accident before even listening to the radio. Just by exploring. Which is kind of cool. I actually kind of prefer that way. Um, awesome. What was I just doing? Right. Upgrade. Mark 2! I guess it's 100 meters more, right? So I can go to 400 meters? What does the next one require? Kyanite? Shit, what is that? 
Oh, no, wait, that's the prawn suit. Oh, this one I have. This one I can make. Easy. Plasti lingot and three rubies. I've got it! Yeah, boy! And then three rubies? No, I have two rubies! I should be able to find one more right outside my home, right? Huh! I mean, it's red. I found one just before, somewhere over there. How hard can it be, right? Famous last words, maybe? Hey! Time capsule! I do realize they may contain spoilers. But... I love time capsules. They're so fun. I have to check it, though. Um, wait, don't I get a, a note? Ah. If I escaped, you can too. Good luck and watch out for the Reapers. I already escaped one Reaper, actually. I did pretty well there. I got a Stalker Tooth out of this. What else did I get? Nothing else, it seems. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let me grab some quartz. Man, I fucking love this game. I love swimming around and grabbing things and building things. Oh, it's probably the best part of this game so far. I mean, not to say that the story is not great, but god damn, they really nailed this survival aspect and building stuff, pro progressing, you know? I goddamn love it. I'm just bummed out about the music in the last episode when I was inside the alien facility. I may have to listen to the soundtrack outside of the game to... To really, uh, hear that one. Oh, just look at this view. Um, right. Rubies. I need to look for red things. Inventory is full, because I'm a dumbass. Uh, sure, I'll grab it. Just one ruby, please. Is it possible? Is it viable? Oh! What? Ah! What the fuck is this? What are you? I'm an Aurora engineer. What are you? Yo, what was that? What just triggered that? Hold on. Yo, hold on. What the fuck was that? What are you? It looked like it had not antlers, but antenna. Whoever it was that spoke to me. It spoke to me telepathically, I think. There was something about telepathy, wasn't there? Did I talk to the aliens of this planet just now? Have they been, have they finally noticed my presence? I wonder what triggered that, that I went deep here? Or if it's a time thing? Maybe that I visited the alien facility? Hmm... Interesting. I have to watch the recording to see that again. For a second there, I thought one of those uh, warpers teleported. But, it only, but, but only for a split second. Okay, I guess I'm going down here. I just want to find one ruby. Hold on. Maybe I have a ruby in my... Seamoth, actually. I forgot to empty the storage of that one. Tell me I haven't been a complete dumbass this whole time. Sorry, there was a little uh, fly on the mic. I had to bump it away. Hopefully it wasn't too bad for your ears. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Here we go. Though, yo, this story is, is going nuts right now. Like, things are popping off. Things are happening. Oh, man. 
Okay, there's nothing of interest in here right now. I will empty it, but not right now. You know what? I may just take the Seamoth with me. Welcome After I install the upgrade in it. I mean, I have to replace it anyway soon, so fuck it. I'm going down manually. Who knows? Maybe I have to go deeper than what the Seamoth can handle right now anyways. Oh, what is that? There we go, boy. There we go. Let me just take a bit of this with me now that I'm seeing it in front of my face. Yoink. Oh, man. Reginald! What's up, boy? How you doing? Flatterfish, I'll take you with me. I'll take all of you with me. Cool. Dude, I cannot express how much I love this tube with the glass section. How awesome is that? That you can look out? It looks beautiful. Okay, what was I doing? I needed two more rubies. I have three rubies now. I needed to make a plasteel ingot. I don't remember if I have what it takes. Two lithium. I definitely have that. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, I thought I clicked on the wrong thing. Thank God. Plasteel ingot. Uh, and then I need two magnetites. Also have that. I may actually only have two. Yeah. Definitely need more of that. Uh, what was I crafting? Enameled glass. Let me put that in there. Hold on. What? What? What am I needing? Oh, no, wait. Am I following the wrong recipe right now? Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, okay. You must have been laughing at me really hard just now. It is what it is, man. But look at me now. Seamoth Depth Module Mark III. Fuck yeah! Is that 400 meters then? That's crazy! Prawn, I'm not a fan of you right now because you cannot do very much. Actually, let me just quickly go into it. I just want to see how deep it can go. What is the maximum depth of, the, of this bad boy right here? Aboard, 900! I take it back. This fucking prawn suit slaps. But I guess it has a very specific purpose, right? Go down deep. And I guess I can recharge my oxygen in here. It's a perfect little uh, mobile way station. Stay right there. Don't move. Stay right there. I need my sea moth docked. Uh, but first, let me put this upgrade module in. Otherwise, I crush it. Wouldn't want that to happen. Oh. Ah. Wait, 900? Yo. <laughs> Fuck the prawn suit. Sea moth is my new best friend. But then again, I can upgrade the I can upgrade the prawn's depth too, right? So the prawn's depth mark one is the same as the sea moth's mark three. I take it back. Prawn is still my You know what? They're on equal footing right now. Nine hundred goddamn meters. Oh I love this game. Get up there. Get in here. Oh, let me grab all this shit. If I have room, I don't. That's fine. Transporting. Transporting. Bop, 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 bop. How much? How is this doing? Oh man, it's consuming a lot, actually. That's okay. It's okay. Magnetites. Uh, diamond. What else goes in here? Advanced. Nothing more advanced here. Copper. In, 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 in. Now we have quartz. Like that. Lead and titanium. Like that. And we have the metals. That's here. Gold. And then we have the quartz. Like that. So I guess I can take out one of these and the stalker tooth and just create a enameled glass. Uh, what did I need for that again? I just need glass. Okay, so I need uh, one more. Like that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I wish there was a way, though, 
to pin a recipe of something really advanced and then have it display only all the raw ingredients I need. Not just the intermediate ones, you know, so I don't have to do all this math in my head. Or keep track of all these ingredients. Maybe it's... I mean, maybe it's not that much, but for me, I'm just lazy, you know? Just give me the option to ch pin one or the other. That would be cool. Um, so I have another enamel glass. Let me put that in here. Let me save the game. In case shit happens, you know, it's possible. Reginald! What's up, dude? Look at Matthews. What do you think about him? Oh no, I wanted to throw... <laughs> I wanted to throw Reginald at, at Matthews. Can't do that, it seems. Okay, you go back. There we go. Uh, I guess I can listen again. Hi, priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13. Coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to Oh, PDA. what? Did the PDA, uh, sorry, did the life pod automatically detect that this Yoki Kasar guy died? And then, uh, hey, send burial detail? Hmm. Interesting. Man, I have so many life pods to explore right now. Uh, so what I want to do now is to put down a battery charger because hot damn I need to, I need my batteries man I need them charged I need them to do things um and the battery charger needed wiring kit copper wire and titanium I think I have the rest actually wiring kit uh kit and copper wire perfect like that I guess I can put this here like that. You know what? I'm not happy with it here. For reasons I cannot go into right now, but it's very deep, I promise. But I will put it over here. Here we go. Put that in. And... I guess I'm gonna empty this. I'm gonna empty that. I'm gonna put these in as well. Oh, 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 oh. There and there. Man, this kind of feels amazing. It's all coming together here with the base building. I hope you're proud of me. I'm proud of myself at least. Just need a bit more power. Right, I have no power in this now because I just took it out. Come with me. Aye, aye. Creepy. But I still love you. No! Come here. You... Ah! Bastard. Way harder now that I'm used to having the Seamoth active. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of this. I guess I could also just put a bunch of uh, flowers in there, right? Like a bunch of um, coral tube and stuff. Probably a bit more... Um, probably a better thing to do in general so I don't consume all the wildlife here that could be eaten later on. Welcome aboard, Captain. It's very short-sighted of me to do this right now. I get it. I get it. Well, let me just fill this up completely. There we go. Power for days. Yep. In food, we put more salt. Pretty sure I had more batteries somewhere. Tools. Here we go. Empty, empty, full. Full, full, sure. Ah, damn it. I guess I'll change this one right now. Or that one, and then I'll put them in here. There we go. Look at this shit. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. Save the game. Unpin. Boop. Voice lock. Let's see what we have here. A bunch of life pods. Okay, right now, next thing to do, check out one of the life pods. Maybe the closest one we have here. Let's see. What have we found lately? 
We have the life pot. Let me look up here so nothing is in the way. Like that. Let me unmark that. Seamoth can go on. This one can go off because I don't need it right now. This one I still want to explore at some point. Staging outpost can stay. Also want to explore this at some point. Signal life pot 3. This one I've done. It's green, green, green. Uh, 500 meters. I still wanted to explore this again, but not right now. The Aurora Rendezvous Point on dry land is the island where there's the gate on. And I think I've explored all of that. I'm not entirely sure. I'll keep it on green for now. The proposed Degasi Habitat at 250 meters. That is in the Jelly Shroom Cave. Been there, done that. Then we have Life Pot 19. This is the one that I'm not completely sure I've seen. I think I discovered this by accident before I got the radio message, but I will go there anyway, just to make sure. Then I have life pot 12 that sunk to 250 meters, sunk to the ocean bed. I'm not sure about this one either. I think I may have found it by accident. And 13 at 175 meters, carrying high priority passengers remains. Hmm. This one I have not been to, I'm pretty sure. So that's the plan right now. Let me suit up and pack up and get ready. I just want to get a couple of fish here for some food. I want to eat you. Come here, you. Oh, I guess I have this one again. Yoink. Come with me. There we go. I should also bring my knife so that I can cook fish on the fly. Well, or on the dive <laughs> while I'm out there. Uh, there. Cook some spade fish and eat them up. I'm actually putting a lot of effort into not wandering aimlessly doing things left and right right now. I'm trying to razor sharp my focus here. I think it's a good exercise for someone like me that has trouble doing one thing at a time. I, the, honestly, the notepad that I've been having here and writing things down has been helping me so fucking much. I'm really glad all of you suggested <laughs> that I do this. You know, you keep thinking to yourself, ah, you know, I can, I don't need that, I can handle it. But then you never can, you know? You always end up needing that shit at, at some point. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You're not going to use it. Fine. But, uh, yeah. Okay, fill this one up. And then put the other one in. And then I'm ready. Beautiful. Alright, I think I've got everything. Tools. Oh, uh, let me just quickly empty this one completely. Like that. Um, ba -ba -ba. I had some tools here. Tablets. Cooked spade fish. I may as well eat them now. Speckled rattler. That is a flora. You go here. Like that. Two batteries that are empty. Let me put them in tools. And the lithium can go in advanced. Like that. Now, are there any tools that I could need also that I should bring? A creature decoy. Sure. Nutrient block. I'll bring it. And... Hmm. Right, beacons. Let me craft a couple of those. Important stuff. Important stuff. Beacons. Copper ore and titanium. Couldn't be simpler. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're making three beacons. That should be more than enough. Uh, there. Beautiful. I think I'm ready. I probably forgot something, but that's just that's just how it is. It is what it is, man. I can't. That, that, you always forget something, you know. Actually, before I go, maybe I do want to craft a little upgrade for my sea moth because I still have a bunch of things I can make. Like the sonar, I can make all of this easy. 
Solar charger sounds super... Yeah, sure. Torpedo system? Yeah, I'll try it. Yeah. This this one, though. Polyaniline? Not sure how to make it yet. Seamoth sonar? Yeah. Let me just quickly craft all that. I mean, why not, right? I have all the shit I need. Ah, it's annoying me that I can't see it while I'm in this menu right now. Uh, wiring kit, that is two silver enameled glass. Two silver. Boop, boop. And then I have three titanium. Copper wire that requires copper, <laughs> obviously. Let me take two just in case. Aerogel, I think I have it in crafted. Where did I even get this? Did I make it? I think I made it once at some point. Magnetite? I don't think I have any of that, actually. Ooh, I just about have it. How amazing is that? Copper. Wire. Wiring. Kit. Oh, wait. I need an advanced wiring kit, I think. And the radio is going on again. Golden computer chip. Oh, shit. I don't know how to make that. Uh, b -b -b flora. Two of these, right? Uh, computer chip. Remind me just really quickly. Gold. I have it. Metals. Bam. Make that chip. Elithium I have. It's in here. Whoop. Advanced. Needs two gold. Also have that. Like that. And then I just need to make another copper wire. Should be easy with one copper, right? Or is it two? Don't remember. Shit, it's two, isn't it? There we go. Nice! Hell yeah! Um, Where do I craft it? Here? No, over here, wasn't it? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh my god. I can make another storage module. That's really tempting. Sonar, sure. Oh, but I can only have... Is it four modules or three? I don't... I, I forget. Hold on. How many can I have? Oh, four. Okay, and storage is one of them. Got it. I can make two more. This is actually perfect then. Solar charger? I think, hell yeah. Then again, I am gonna be deep with it, so... Eh. Maybe not the most useful, actually. But I will make all of that. Let me just put it in. Torpedo system. Sonar. This one, not that useful right now, I think. So I'm gonna store it in my base. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Crafted or tools? Tools. Nice. Time to check out all my new toys. So, what is closest of these three? Is the question. That's far away. That's close. Ah, oh, that makes sense. I think that's the one I did explore. But I will go there again. Here we go, boys! And up we're away! Time to a venture forth to a new expedition. We can go deep now. I have no fear. What's up, boys? I'm going inside this cave system here. I love it. I needed to grab some magnetite anyway because I'm running out of that. I don't remember if magnetite can be in those. I think they can be in the shale. Uh, where was it? No. There. 140 meters. Wait, how do I activate the... 3D uh, sonar thing? Oh. 
No, wait. How does this work? Uh. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, that's cool as fuck! Dude, I thought I was just gonna get a little heads up display just like the. Just like the. Uh, the fucking thing I hold in my hands. I forget the name of it. Oh, that's so cool! The sound of it! Oh! Right, I need torpedoes. Oh, this is so cool. Right? How cool is this, man? Oh. It's amazing. I this is going to be so helpful when I'm in the very darkness. Oh, oh, look at that. You can you can easily see structures too. So cool. Where was Keen's life pod? Here. I think this is the one I did explore. This is even the place where I... Where I had a graph trap. Right here, wasn't it? This is it. This is that place. Yeah. Also that place where I discovered... For the first time... The fact that I'm not alone on this planet. Hold on, what is that? Power cell charger. Oh, I have it already. Man, I'm getting some aggressive wildlife here attacking me. So cool, man. So cool. There it is. Oh, I love this game. Okay, okay. Where am I going? Let's go to, uh, 13. <coughs> My voice broke completely there. Still have some coughs, it seems. Okay. Life pot 13. Not the most lucky number, I would say. Quite fitting for the one that carries the, rem the remains of a passenger. Oh man, I love this so much. Oh, the darkness. Look at that. The black, it doesn't even go that deep. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Life pod. Oh. Hey there, Warper. How's your day? My day is just fine. Now that I have an amazing sea moth that can go to 900 freaking meters. Almost a kilometer. Heck yeah! Dude, this is such a cool effect with the sonar. Mmm! It's probably gonna warn me about wildlife too, right? Like if there's a big leviathan- Yeah, look at that! Did you see that? Look at that! Oh, uh, there it is! <laughs> cool! How is this game getting cooler by the minute? How is it possible to keep upping itself like this? What the hell is that? That's fine. Already have it. 175 meters, not that deep. Then again, I, I guess these uh, life pods, they don't sink very deep, do they? Oh. This area here, I don't think I've actually explored. Look at these fucking things. What is that? Yo. What is that? Tree mushroom. Oh. Analysis of these large organic structures reveals a microcosm of cooperating, cohabiting, and competing life forms. 
The main trunk is a species of coral, some colonies up to 50,000 years old. The caps which line it share more in common with the earth fungi. Other organisms grow on the structure wherever there is space and light. Surrounding waters are dense with herbivorous life forms in the 1mm to 10mm range, to the extent that larger herbivores appear to have mostly abandoned the area. Assessment exploitable? Really? Tell me I brought my knife. I did. Oh! Fungal sample. Indigenous flora contains fungal enzymes. Yo, I'm just gonna... Grab a bit more of this, because I think I can put it in the bioreactor. It is biomass, isn't it? God, this is so cool. Did I scan these bastards? They seem peaceful. I think I did scan them. These were the ones that were uh, attracting each other bio with bioluminescent lights. So they could spot each other in the dark. Something like that. It's been a while since I read it. But yeah, something like that. Dude, look at all this. Oh man, cool! Hold on, where was I going? There. Oh, uh, you hear that? Sounds like dolphins singing. They're singing to each other. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at the people closing his eyes. Did you see that? It was slowly closing it as if it fell asleep. Here we go. There it is. What a beautiful area. I don't know why, but I love the beep when you do the sonar. What do we got here? Another explosion happened from the inside, it seems. What went wrong here? Integrating new PDA data. Let me head inside my little... Before I read. Let me just quickly scan the area. So it carried the remains of a... Of a high-profile target, or like a high-profile person, it seems. But where are those remains, then? Hmm. Oh, cool. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Burning up in the atmosphere. The path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one on and off and on again. Impact imminent. The universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. Jesus Christ, man. This emissary is creepy AF. You know, I have to say, though, I do kind of resonate with what he's saying there. It's actually something I've been thinking about for a long time, ever since I watched Carl Sagan's Cosmos for the first time. If you haven't seen that show, you have to see it. It's amazing. It's basically what made me want to become an astrophysicist. But he mentioned becoming, returning to the cosmos. Like, we're all in this cycle, right? Of living, and then when we die, all our matter that we're made of returns to the Earth and gets returned to the cosmic cycle. 
I mean, we came from the stars, right? Everything we're made of. The carbon in our cells. And, like, everything. It's just... And the oxygen we breathe. Like, all of that came from synthesis in the centers of stars. And even some of the stuff that we're made of can only be made during a supernova. A star exploding. And then all that material is getting spread around in the universe. In all the galaxies. And then they come together, form planets, form people. Those people start to think about the universe. You know, the universe thinking about itself. I, I'm paraphrasing here, but that's essentially what Sagan said. And then when you die, all the all the uh, atoms and elements that you're made of are, are basically being returned to the universe, right? And this emissary was really embraced that, it seemed. And just... Yeah, he, he, he accepted that. It's a cool way to think about it. I think it's... Detecting actually... Class. Oof. Life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? Oh my god. The PDA's talking like this? Now I'm scared. No, I'm not certain. Not at all. Anyway, what I was saying is... Maybe I'll change my mind later on, but... People always say that... Or like, a lot of people say that when you're on your deathbed... Or when you know that the end is coming and your life is about to end... Some people get religious, you know, they start to look f to some explanation higher up. Um, I think for me, I'm, I'm gonna find solace. And I'm gonna really embrace the fact that I'm gonna be returning to the cosmos, similar to this emissary, Kassar guy. I really resonate with him. I'm terrible at expressing myself. I'm sorry this took three minutes to explain, I, I'm terrible at this. Fucking hell, look at this thing right here. It's a massive underwater tree looking thing. Wow. Those are some massive mushrooms. Look at that. I wonder if I can cook it. And on the very top. Just like a little bit of lithium. I'll take that. That is a special kind of lithium. Sorry, sorry fish, sorry. Sorry, coming through. Hot soup, move out. Careful. Oh, what is that? I think I saw a cave. No, I didn't, damn it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I see something. My senses are tingling. Aha. Look at this. Now that is interesting. Oh! A creature egg. It's a big one. An unidentified egg. Is it an egg of one of those luminescent boys? Another creature egg. You are currently inside a long calcified root system. Evidence suggests it was eaten away by other life forms over many centuries to form these natural caves. Man, look at this fucking tree. It's so cool, man. I love exploring stuff like this. There are little schools of fish in here. What was that? There's something here to scan. Tree leech. You're leeching off a calcified tree? Parasitic fungus-like growth found attached to other life forms. An enzyme is released by the organism, which dissolves a hole in the skin of the host from which it leaches nutrients directly. Outer tooth line jaw serves no identified purpose. That's horrible. Maybe used during a different stage of the organism's life cycle. Assessment exploitable fungal enzymes. Okay. No? Okay. Maybe I cannot do it with a heated knife. Maybe I need to be more careful. Also, I'm getting dangerously close to getting lost in these caves. 
Ah, shit, I should have used my Pathfinder tool. Get down, get down. Get out of here. Uh, shit, I can't, this is not useful at all. Oh, actually it is. Nah, I'm lost, I'm lost. Here. Nope, but I'll take it. Ah, uh, down, 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 down. Ah, oh, thank God, thank God. The headlights of that seamoth may be very happy just now. Do I have any water on me? Shit, I don't. You know what? I'm gonna head back anyway. I will deposit these creature eggs. And grab some more water. Salt I have, so I will have to find some coral tubes on the way back. The question is, can they be found this far down? Or is it only in the shallows? I will find out. But there's also an item I can craft. Or a structure that can purify water for me. That sounds very intriguing. But not quite something I think I'll make for the staging outpost. It's just a, an intermediate way station. Oh, look at that. I think I, think I see one. Um, I want to make the, bi the big boy stuff when I make an actual big base. But I'm not sure where to build it yet. Let me fill up this sea moth with some stuff. Sure, I'll put these things in there. Let me just grab a bunch of that. Good. Nope, not this way. This way. Ah, is this my old base location? It is. I had my base right here. Last time. Cool. I wonder if you can build things on top of the reef backs. <laughs> A mobile base that moves around. Think about it. How cool is that? The Rumble Boys. I think in the... Uh, oh, it's actually been over an hour or two. I think I may end the episode here. I'm just going to quickly drink some water. And then explain what my intention is in the next episode. I'm looking at my notes here. I did find out that there are two other alien facilities on the planet. And one of them is at, I think, 800 meters. And the other one was at 1,200 meters. Um... So I think what I want to do, my plan is to try and head for the 800 meter facility and then build an actual base somewhere close to there, serving as a bigger staging post for my exploration of that place. Doesn't that sound cool? I think it does. I think that's going to be my next plan. Welcome aboard, Captain. Lay the foundations for a bigger base with the goal of exploring another alien facility. I know, I know, I know. I need my salt. Pop, 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 pop. Make some water. I know I'm cutting it close here. Don't worry, I've got this, guys. Just gonna drink some bleach here. Oh, I can make more even. Jesus. Drink! Vital signs stabilizing. Ooh. More, 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 more. Nice. Eat the nutrient block. And we're good. In the next episode, I will click on this radio and I will do everything else that I just told you. Until then, 
I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am certainly. Have a good one. Goodbye.